Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to easily remove a uh, sticker that you have on your vehicle or boat, window, anything, um, anything with a metallic surface. Um, let's see. Today I'm removing some uh, stickers off an old uh, police Tahoe that they obviously don't want you running these stickers. But um, what I'm going to be using is a 3M. It's a eraser wheel. Actually, this is a uh, a cheaper one, but uh, 3M normally makes them. But they're they're about 20 bucks for the wheel. You just put it on a drill motor or a sidewinder, and uh, you don't want it. You want something you can control the speed because you don't want to turn it over too fast. Because if you do, you're going to burn your paint. So um, let me show you how we do this. Uh, uh, I don't know if I want to set this on the AMG. Uh, you know what? I don't have a person to help me with the camera today. You know what? There's a... My tripod is at home, of course. This might, this might work. I didn't quite think this through <laughs> before I grabbed the camera. Here, let's try this. I've got too much junk in this shop. Yeah, everything wants to fall now. There we go. Now, let me try this. <laughs> right where I want to show you the, <laughs> the handles in the way. Of course. You know that old saying when you want to show somebody something. Come on, you can do it. Well, this is ridiculous. Come on. I don't want it to be crooked. I'm kind of a perfectionist at some things. Come on. Now let's try this. Hey, I think that'll work. All right, now, finally, let's see, let me focus it. Okay, now I'll show you. <laughs> so what we'll do, here we go, all right. Now, like I said, you don't want to go too fast. So on this, it has a, this is just a cheap Harbor Freight uh, 3 8 pneumatic drill. You can adjust the speed right here. So I don't want this going too fast because it'll burn my burn my paint. So let's do this. And you want to move it around. Don't push too hard on it. Just let the, the tool do the work for you. Just now it peels it right off like butter. If you hold it one spot too long, if you hold it one spot too long, it'll heat up the paint. You want to be able to touch this paint. If you heat it up too hot, it's going to burn your paint. It's going to ruin your paint. So that's why you keep moving it. You keep moving it back and forth to keep the surface area cool. This is basically like a big eraser, is what it is. So we we'll just uh, keep moving. <laughs> So what you're left with is this. 
looks like a big gooey mess. You're thinking, oh no, now it's even worse than the sticker, but it's not. Very easy to to cure that. I get a uh, Goo Gone. Just uh, get at Home Depot for like ten bucks, maybe maybe less. But uh, what we do is I don't want to spray this on myself because it smells very citrusy. My girlfriend would be wondering where I where I was. Spray a little bit on this rag here. Like that. You don't need a whole lot, just a couple little squirts. And then just wipe it on this stuff. I usually like to let it sit for a couple seconds. Just kind of work it across here, let it soak in a little bit. And then a little bit of elbow grease. I like to go in circles, up, down, circles, up, down. Just like if you were detailing a car. A little bit of a little bit of elbow grease, but not too bad. Now, finally that compressor kicks off. But see, we have a little couple little scuff marks there left. No problem. Just get a little bit more citrus. Goo, goo gone or gooby gone? They both work the same. I think it's the same company. But just wipe it on those. A little bit of elbow grease there. Work it in a little bit. And there's a little more right there. And she's gone. Look at that. I didn't wash this thing before I brought it down here, so it's filthy. But as you can see, Sticker is gone. No more sticker. I see a little bit through the camera here. Right there. Yep. That's weird. I can't see with my eyes, but I can see it with the camera. Hmm. I can feel it with the rag. Huh. There's a little bit there too. Anyway, you can see that it works and it doesn't mess up your paint. And um, you could also use it to remove badges, like if you want to remove, uh, like this badge, say you wanted to, I don't know why you would do it, but if you want to remove the CLS 63 off of this Mercedes, there's adhesive behind here. So if you peel this off, there'll be adhesive on there. So once you remove it, you got to remove that adhesive. So that's, this will work in the same manner as that. You just use the cutoff wheel, or not cutoff wheel. <laughs> The eraser wheel and um, erase all that adhesive off there and then you come back over with uh, your goo gone and wipe the residue off of it and you'll have a nice debadged car and um, yeah so I thought I'd share that with you um, if you need to know anything else uh, if you want to Something that I know, I'm more than happy to show you how to do it. Uh, leave me a message, hit the like button. Um, if you need to know any information about the tools I'm using, or definitely not the Harbor Freight, that's not my tool. I have the, uh, the Matcos over there. <laughs> I just left my, my drill at the house and I borrowed the guys next door. <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah, if you, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> dry throat. <coughs> oh so anyway <laughs> if you need anything or want to ask questions or anything just let me know and um i'll be more than happy to answer them anyway take care have a good one